Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. So in this video I'd like to introduce you to a new plant of mine. So this is a Tetrapanix papyrifera. Now the variety I was sold it as was Rex, but to be honest, looking at the colour of the stem, it's probably more just the straight species of Tetrapanix. So the reason I'd like to introduce this plant is because I'd like to show how fast it will grow. So this plant, as you can see from the scale of my hand, is actually quite small. I'd like to show you how quickly it will develop over the next summer or two and how big the leaves will get. So tetrapanics have become a lot more popular recently. They used to be quite an obscure plant that not a huge amount of people used to know about. But in the last few years, with the increasing popularity in jungle style plants, particularly in the UK, they've become a much more popular plant and they're becoming more commonplace. So these are normally grown for their massive leaves. They look like claws when they're really big. And uh, some of them, call, some people call them T-Rex plants. So they get these massive lobed leaves, which can get up to a meter across. And they look really tropical. And they grow in a really tall, long, skinny stem. So it, all the, with all the leaves at the top, so it looks a bit like a palm in some instances, but it really gives that tropical appearance to your garden, even though the plant is relatively hardy. So this plant is from, is from the mountainous regions of Taiwan, so it can handle a little bit of cold, but it's not truly hardy in a, in a lot of places. So most of the UK, the above ground section will be hardy, but here in North Scotland where I am, we can get minus 15 occasionally. So I'm expecting every other year, this will probably get killed by the frost right down to the root level. Now the roots will survive and it will grow back for me, so I'll, I'll get some nice foliage next year. But the likelihood of me getting a tall plant with this is quite slim, just because I'm a little bit too far north. My temperature is a little bit too cold for it, so I'm not going to get a really tall plant. But hopefully if I have a few mild years in a row, I might get up to maybe a metre and a half if I'm lucky. So this plant, what it really does is it puts all its energy into its leaves. Now it quickly sizes up in its leaves, so you can get a small plant like this and it won't take many years and, or even just one growing season until you can get some giant leaves on it. But it does take a little while to grow. It is quite slow with getting its height on the stem, so the stem will maybe only grow about a foot or so a year but maybe a bit faster in perfect conditions but it's the leaves that really grow fast and get really big so I'll show you a picture of this from last autumn as you can see it was a relatively small plant and the leaves were quite big though even though it's such a small plant and um, it lost all its leaves over winter because it's deciduous in in my part of the world where it's quite cold if it's a milder location they can stay evergreen over winter and I had it in a smaller pot as you can see I've recently just repotted it into this massive 10 litre pot this will be the one that will be staying in all summer now ideally I would plant it straight out in my garden give it loads of root space and then it could grow much quicker and, and it would get a really good established root system but the final spot that I want to plant it in isn't ready for planting yet and it probably won't be ready this year because I have a lot of other things I need to get done in the garden so what I'm going to do is just grow it in a really large pot this year have it as a lovely foliage plant, move, maybe move it around the garden into different locations to make the most of the sun. And then later next year, when I get the time, I'm going to plant it up in a permanent planting position. So I'd like to put this under a time lapse and I'll show you that at the end of the video to show you how fast it should start growing. And it's quite an interesting plant. It is actually a distant relation of ivy, of shufflers, and also of fatsias. So it's that kind of family of plant, but it is in its own genus, so it is quite unique. Although it is distantly related to a lot of more common plants, it's in its own genus, so there's nothing else quite like it. It is quite a unique uh, looking plant. And there's a few different varieties you can get as well, which have slightly different lobes in the leaves, or the, the orange fur that you get growing here on the new growth can change in color. Uh, on a few of the varieties, such as Rex and other ones, you have a much paler color. This one's more of an orangey color, which is why I think this is not a Rex variety. This is probably just a straight species, Tetrapanix papyrifera. But it should still give me nice growth. The, the direct one just has slightly nicer leaves. The, uh, the, the shape of the leaves are a little bit more interesting. So what I'm going to do now is I'll put this under time lapse and I'll give it a really high nitrogen feed. It's the leaves that grow massive in this plant. So I want to give it lots of nitrogen to encourage large leafy growth. And then I'll come back to you at the end of the video and we'll see how much it's grown over the course of a few weeks. So it's now just under eight weeks later. Now on the time lapse, it was a lot shorter than that, but once I put it outside with the cooler conditions, it really slowed down. And as you can see, it hasn't really grown a huge amount more since the time lapse. So it was probably only about four weeks in total that the time lapse was running. The other four weeks were out in the garden and hasn't grown a huge amount since then. But as you can see, it's a much bigger plant now, much larger leaves. The leaves will keep sizing up 
as the plant gets larger and more established. There isn't really much trunk established yet, it's still very small in the trunk section. It's probably only grown about one inch of trunk or two and a half centimeters since it's coming to growth this spring. But what it's doing is it's just getting its leaves out. Once its leaves are fully established, it will absorb lots of extra sunlight. And then the energy that it absorbs from these first set of leaves, it will then put into production of more bigger leaves and also longer stem. So this is still quite a young plant, so I'm not expecting massive growth this growing season, but it'll be interesting to see how it goes. But it's nice to see that it's already much bigger than it was last autumn. And I should expect much more leaf growth over the summer. And then next year it should really take off when I put it in the ground and it can get its roots fully established. So that's all for this update I just wanted to show you how fast tetrapanics can grow they really are quick growing plants and I'll give you an update either later this summer or maybe early next spring when I'm ready to plant it